settings up, I will show you now in the accessibility menu, they go to display and text size. And here you have the option to reduce transparency. You can reduce transparency and you can also check for the white point, make sure that this is not enabled to dim your iPhone. So that shouldn't be enabled. So if I enable reduce transparency now, when I do go back to the home screen, you will see now there is not much of that effect happening like before. With the reduce transparency option, you can make your iOS 26 look very similar to iOS 18, 18.5, like that. And the control center also, it's very clear here. Everything reduce transparency, it's enabling. And you can always go easily. It's really easy to go back and forward with this reduce transparency. So like now it's enabled. Now the transparency is enabled. Now the transparency is enabled, the full transparency. And now it's disabled. So it's very easy to switch between them. You can also reduce the animations if you want. So from the accessibility menu, you can go to motion. And in motion, you can reduce motion. You can use the reduce motion option. Now motion is disabled. So you don't have the animations so much like before. You have some kind of a fade effect, but it's not like before. I like the, the control center actually looks, still looks good. So with the transparency, with reduce motion, maybe this is not a bad idea to use it like this. So reduce, but what I don't like is this fade effect. So I tap here on the settings and it doesn't show. On Android, you can use the developer options to increase the animation speed duration. If anyone from Apple is watching this video, please find a way to increase the speed for animations instead of reducing the motion to disable the animation, turn, instead of turning animations into crossfade effects, which are not so easy to understand. Where like here, I would understand that from settings, it goes here, it would be nice to have the animation, but be able to speed up the animation. Like this animation goes forward like that. That would be ideal. Lots of people would be happy with that, I believe. The way iOS 26 looks like, it's really interesting. Very